when you are about to leave for your Friday night out and your baby decides to take a two hour nap. Welcome to the vlog. Princess Diaries on, real life laundry, and this baby loves sleeping with his eyes open. Lana got combed, Lana got combed. I love this movie. Peter and I decided for the time lapse of this vlog, it would be of James sleeping. Um, but the only place I could do it was like holding it. And you can just see me breathing the whole time, but I'm going to keep it in. Um, Peter is at Jewel. I believe he's vlogging. We've been sitting on the couch for four hours. At 5.30, we, I cooked dinner. The work day was over. It was not such a great day, but we were like, let's go out. We were going to go grocery shopping and then go to the Merchandise Mart because Art on the Mart is back and there's like projections on the Merchandise Mart. On the Merchandise Mart. I'll put a picture in of it here if you don't know what that is, but um, it's a big building on the river in Chicago. Decided to give James a quick snack before we left. He fell asleep. And he woke up probably like an hour ago. So that had already been three hours. So he was hungry again. I fed him. He fell back asleep. So literally have not moved in four hours. Obviously, we're not going out tonight. Um, besides Peter's little run to Jewel. But that, I guess, is just a part of, you know, going with the flow with the baby. Right, what do you do when your baby unexpectedly falls asleep for three hours and you don't go out? We go grocery shopping and we're stepping up environmentalism and actually remembered our produce bags. Reusable so we don't use all the plastic. Well, Jules getting fancy with these little whole grain vegan tacks. Also, Sarah wanted waffles and I said like ego ones. She's like, I think they've got like those nasty healthy ones. So we're going to try out these cinnamon ones. I was debating on the blueberry, the cinnamon, that went cinnamon. We'll see if Sarah likes them. We might not have not planned this trip out. I decided not to bring the stroller. And I only have two big bags with me, and there's a lot of stuff to carry back. I did, in fact, walk to the stool with no stroller, so this will be interesting. Look who's awake! Look who's awake! Look who's awake! Wake, wake! Are you going to sleep tonight? Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! We got the oven preheating for some yummy treats. Yeah. And we're gonna do something sick. So <laughs> Get the chills. We're gonna do something super fun. This little boy. You are silly. Okay. Should we just show him what we're doing? Okay. We're going in here. We're going in here. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna do something that I've been dreaming about doing. Side note, I got him his first Florida outfit. Okay. Okay, James, you might have to be in his crib for this. I don't know if I'll be able to. Actually, I should do. Hey, hang on. So <laughs> the snuggler ruins it, but I'll just like put a different pillow in there or something. We are going to spend the rest of the night all cozied up, eating food. 
food and watching Harry Potter. Well, uh, I almost made it in our bag. Just a few, just two extras. But this is going to be an interesting walk home. So Sarah's fancy drink of the evening is cranberry ginger ale Canada Dry. I went with a new Belgium Captain Dynamite IPA from Voodoo Ranger. And this is the mess that we call you're just ready for the weekend and then your baby falls asleep for a four hour nap. You just kind of go very nuts. Gosh, I'm so nervous about Eve. <laughs> um, first course, pretzel dogs. <laughs> Peter has been talking about these like regularly every night. You know, like would just be really good in Auntie Anne's pretzel dog. Oh, you've been saying Wetzel's pretzels. I like Wetzel's pretzels dogs. Pretzel dogs more. You've Shout been out. saying. You've been saying Wetzel's pretzels, but those were Auntie Anne's, and I just automatically thought like, oh, I just automatically thought mall. Evie's getting her hair cut tomorrow. Say goodbye to the fluff. Very crucial day in James's life. the first Harry Potter movie he's seen. Not in order, it's fine. Whoa! Whoa! Put your Patronus, James. Round two. And round three. And round four. <laughs> Look at the lack of color. <laughs> It's gotten very late, but Harry Potter's ending. Now I don't know if I'm gonna put on another one to fall asleep to, because James and Sarah have already fallen asleep, or if I'm gonna put on the new Mortal Kombat on HBO that came out today. These are the choices. I'm gonna grab some pajamas for James and his outlet, which I don't know if I've ever shown you. It's like a cool sock sensor that gives a blood oxygen reading to let us know how he's sleeping through the night. And then um, in the instance where his blood oxygen drops, it starts making all kinds of crazy noises. So I'm gonna grab that and bring it out to the living room because we're gonna have a little camp out in the living room. Um, and then I think we're just gonna put on something to watch that we'll drift off to. April 23rd, and as I'm looking at this, I just like really want to walk through Disney Springs tomorrow. That would be nice. Today's message by Rumi. Set your life on fire. Seek those who fan your flames. I dig it. Sarah's given... <coughs> Sarah's giving James the lotions and potions. Cause he's got his eczema baby. You can't have the lotion in your mouth. Oh guys. <laughs> We're gonna have you talking in no time, right? Right? Oh yeah. And with that, I think I'm gonna put on Mortal Kombat. And it's good to be home. It's good to be home. I'm so tired. I can't even keep my eyes open. Angel baby. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.